Come in. Hey, you need to clean this room up. It's okay. a pigsty in here. Okay. And dinner's ready. Okay. So, Mike, I got an email today. I heard you got a dance coming up. I mean, yeah, but, um, so you never go to dances. Why would I go to this one? Well, your mom told me there's a girl you like. So you're gonna tell me about her or what? Well, she's kind and she's smart, but trust me, I'm not her type. Well, you can be smart, sometimes. I mean, at least with a computer in front of you. And, and you can be nice, sometimes. Wow, you almost had me convinced there for a second. Stop it, stop it, you two. You have plenty going for you, Mike. I'm sure if you ask this girl to the dance, she'd want to go with you. Um, thanks for the confidence, I guess. Hello? Hey, it's Sarah. How'd you get my number, and why are you calling me? Don't worry about it. I'm very much worried about it. Don't be. I just, I heard it from a friend. Anyway, it sounded like you had a little crush. Uh, how would you know that? From my friend. We don't have any neutral friends. You're like, popular. Hang on, it's too hard to talk to you over the phone. I'll be there in five minutes. You don't know my address. Nice house. Could have sworn that door was locked. You have a tiny room. Okay. Ouch. So, who's been telling you things about me? Still on that. What, you got cameras in here? No, I do not have cameras in here. Okay, then what? Really want to know? It's not like I've been asking or anything. Fine. What the hell? Maybe it was the wind. I don't think I like you anymore. Excuse me? I mean, yeah, I liked you, but I'm pretty sure you can read minds and probably kill me if you wanted to. Probably. Okay, I'm sorry, I definitely, you can definitely kill me if you wanted to. There we go. So you're thinking now. Are you gonna hurt me? No. No, I, I don't want to hurt you. Well, if you know what's going on all the time, why are you talking to me? I'm sure there's plenty of football players that would be into you. There are. But the downside to being able to read everyone's thoughts is you can hear everything they say about you behind your back when they think you're not listening. I know you don't think you're my type, but you don't say anything behind my back, so it counts for something. I guess I never thought of it that way. I don't know why this is happening. I. One day I woke up and there were a million different voices going on a million different tracks all at the same time and it didn't take long for me to realize that most of them weren't mine. Well, it must have been awesome. I wish I could read minds. No, you don't. It's not awesome. Okay, I, I reached for a glass of water the other day and it shattered. You can't control it? No. And I'm worried about what's going to happen if I can't figure this out. So, then, are you asking me to help you with that? I don't know how you even could. Talking about it's been nice. Okay, I do want to help you then. I'm sorry for all the rude things I said earlier. Now that I know what's going on. I assume you didn't expect to meet someone who could read minds. I mean, I know it's weird. I didn't expect to be someone who could read minds. I'm glad you thought that I was trustworthy enough to talk to. So, what are you going to do with these powers? Help people, maybe? I mean, there's always a bright side to these things. I mean, 
You gotta close the door to open a window. You know? How, how about that dance? Okay. <laughs>